Hey teachers, another tip for you today that can help whether you're teaching in person or virtually. It's a free resource, a website called classroomscreen.com. It has multiple elements, including a free whiteboard, a timer, a random name selector, and much, much more. Here's what it looks like. Go to the site, classroomscreen.com, and launch classroom screen. Right away, you'll get an option of setting a background. You can choose from the ones that they have in their library. So it could be something, you know, perhaps to go with the topic you're teaching or just something you think is cool. Or you can use your own image. So I thought this might be a good spot for those awesome Bitmoji libraries and Bitmoji classrooms that we're all so proud of, but sometimes kind of slow things down when we ask the kids to open them in Google Slides or some other application. So we can use this as our background. Um, and this is a perfect kind of screen for when the kids, you know, are waiting for the Google Meet to begin or, um, you know, working independently, you can throw this classroomscreen.com up there. And here are all of the elements. So first thing was background. They have another feature. Let's switch this so it's not so busy. We'll put something a little plainer up there. Okay. So this one I thought was great for when you need to choose somebody to call on. You could type in the names of the kids in your class. And hit choose. And it does a little spinner for you. So that's kind of cool. If you don't want the element to appear anymore, you hit the X to get rid of it. Another thing for making choices, you can roll a single dice or a pair of dice. Perhaps this will tell you, you know, which group number is going to present first or something like that. Uh, if you have um, a QR code, say you want to play Kahoot and you want to show the QR code instead of telling them the code or the website for something, uh, you can simply copy and paste the website in there and display the QR code uh, right on the screen. So we can move this off to the side. Um, we can draw. So it provides a whiteboard for us. We can enlarge this. Perhaps this works for, um, you know, writing a welcome message. You can handwrite something like that. Or we can do actual, you know, work. I don't have a fancy schmancy pen, so that took a little while. Uh, you can, you know, delete anything if you've made a mistake. And of course, you can get rid of this as well. Uh, text allows you to have basically like a little announcement, almost like a sticky note up here. Uh, even have some editing features. Uh, bold, you can add a hyperlink, things like that. Welcome. We will begin in five minutes, you know, something along those lines. Um, you can even post, you know, whatever is happening right now. So perhaps this is the time for them to work quietly. Perhaps it's the time for them to collaborate and work together. Uh, there's, you know, a little message. And of course, you can enlarge this if you really wanted, you know, to make it known, you know, here's the announcement for what's going on right now. Uh, another good one is a timer. Uh, if you want kids to work independently for a few minutes or do some silent reading for a few minutes, a clock, a calendar, a stopwatch, great features. And you can customize this to look however you want or need it to look for that class period. So you know I'm all about things that help make our lives a little bit easier. And uh, I'm also a huge fan of things that are free. So take a look at classroomscreen.com and let me know what you think. For more tips and tricks like this to help make your lives a little easier, you know where to find me.